Welcome back to Emily's Paper Caper. It's Stamp Play and Stamping Sunday, two open collaborations that encourage us to use our stamps. Stamp Play is hosted by Susan's Heartstrings and Stamping Sunday is hosted by Thelma Hall and Crafting by the Pond. I'm also doing the Artisan Journal Prompt 2024 and this week's theme is butterflies. So I thought perfect opportunity to create some butterflies for my journal page this week. I have this Stampin' Up! set. It says butterfly prints and the butterflies have different patterns on them. And I also have a punch that goes with this. So after you stamp the butterfly, you can punch it out. And I thought that would be fun to do. And then I can use them across my journal page this week. I'm trying to use paper scraps more this year. So I pulled some red, white, and blue paper scraps, one pink. And I thought it would be fun to try to stamp off the butterflies on these papers and then come back and see what I do with my journal page but let's see how we do I want to use all three of these so I'm gonna go ahead and set them out and then after I get them on the journal page I'll go back in and stamp the antenna afterwards I think that's the best way to add the antenna. And the saying here, love is like a butterfly, it goes where it pleases and pleases where it goes. I'll probably use that on the journal page as well. So maybe I'll stamp that off as well while we're stamping here. Trying to keep with red, white, and blue theming a little bit. I've got prize ribbon and worn lipstick. The only reason I'm leaning into red, white, and blue is because it's it's almost the 4th of July. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun. always stamp on an old phone book that cushion really helps to get a better crisp image let's do some on the blue and then we'll switch to a different butterfly pattern is just a wet wipe to clean it off. This is a herringbone pattern. Don't know if the worn lipstick will show up on this red. We're going to try it anyway. No, it really doesn't. So let's switch to blue. Yeah, that's much better.
wasn't sure I'd like the herringbone pattern, but it's really pretty. Okay. Let's go ahead and stamp the sentiment too so I have that ready. I think I can stamp it on the interior here. Yeah, there should, oh, that's gonna be tight. Let's get a different paper scrap. you how I punch them out. I turn the punch over so that I can see the placement of the butterfly and then I get it just where I want it and then I punch it. These Stampin' Up! punches, I'll tell you, I only have a few of them. They really are nice. thing that's nice about this punch is even if you don't have anything stamped it still makes a really cute butterfly even without the stamp on there so you can use some butterflies with the stamping and some without let me know if you have any questions about what I'm doing here. I always love to hear from you and I try to reply to all questions and comments. I'm gonna keep on punching and you can keep on scrapping and paper crafting with me.
If you're still here, leave me a butterfly emoji down in the comments. Thanks for watching and playing with me.